Hey everybody, Pat here from West Corners Custom Cycles again. Welcome back to the Underground Garage. Uh, I got a project going on today. Um, it really doesn't have anything to do with motorcycles. I'm going to post it on the channel. Uh, it's actually for a um, custom van I'm doing. It's my own personal van. It's a 1994 high top custom van. And today I'm going to be making an infinity mirror to put in it. So if it's something you want to check out, by all means, stay tuned. Give us a, you know, a like, thumbs up if you see something you like. And if not, I'll catch you on the next video. Okay. Well, today's video, like I said, is for an infinity mirror that I'm putting in a, a Chevy G20 van that I'm doing. The reason I'm making it and putting it in there is because the ceiling fabric above where the bed goes in this van is ripped. And this is to cover that area. Um... It's going to be an overall size of 44 by 18 is the size of the frame that I made. Frame's done, made, and in two coats of uh, polyurethane down. Uh, it's down on my bench in the basement. I want to get the, this mirror. Actually, I need to make two mirrors for this project. Uh, if any of you know what an infinity mirror is, you have to have two mirrors with a space in between, two mirrors facing each other. Uh, we're going to use this film right here. This is a uh, mirrored car film that you would put on your truck, your car, shiny on the outside. You can see through from the inside. Um, you need two two-way mirrors or just a regular mirror and a two-way mirror to make one of these. Uh, the other things we got, squeegee and a knife to cut the film with. That came with it. A set of gloves, paper towels, soapy water, glass cleaner. You want to use the gloves because you don't want to leave fingerprints all over everything you're doing. Once you get this film down, there ain't going to be no cleaning between the, the film and the glass. So if you've got fingerprints all over it, they're going to be there forever. So that's why you want to use the gloves. But Okay, let me get around the other side of the counter here. And we'll get this thing uh, kicked out and you can see how it goes. Alright, let's get these gloves on. The object to this is... To, uh, this plexiglass has film, plastic film on both sides of it. You want to take the side that you're going to be putting your mirrored film down on and you're going to want to peel it off. Once you do that, that's going to be kind of staticky probably. So that's why you want to hit it with the window cleaner. And I'm spraying instead of jet. One, it'll get rid of all the static. So you got any dust or anything else. My wife happens to have four long-haired cats, so I want to keep everything off of this that I can. Give it the best result as possible. But clean your glass up. You're also going to want to find out ahead of time. What side of your mirrored film is the mirrored and which side is the opposite see-through side. The way you can figure that out is this mirrored stuff also has a clear film on it like I just took off this plexiglass. So we'll take this out of here and I've already figured out. That it's on the mirrored side is this outside the part you can see through is this part when I'm all done here the mirrors gonna be against the glass but to start off you're gonna want to cut a piece of length I should have done this ahead of time Now, roll this back up real quick. 
what we're going to do, you're going to take this soapy water and you're going to wet this glass down. One more wipe off here. Make sure we don't have anything on it. This is also on jet because my wife uses it to spray the cats with when they get out of line. Okay, we're going to want to wet this down real good with soapy water. I'm going to squeegee all this out afterwards. Really make sure it's good and wet down. Take this. Okay, like I said, you really need you need like a puddle on top of this glass before you lay this down. Now, right now I have it laid down transparent side through. It's not really transparent, but semi-transparent. I have the mirrored side up. As you can see, hopefully, there's a clear film here that goes on top of the mirrored side. If you spray the mirror side as you pull this off, if it gets away from you, it won't stick back down. But either way, you want this good and wet because you're going to flip this over and you're going to put it directly down on the puddle you already made on the glass. And between all the moisture between the two of them, that's what's going to allow you to squeeze everything out, get all the lumps and bumps out of it. Now, what you guys don't know is that this is the second half of this video, and my camera cut out on me. That's why I'm back again now. But I didn't have time to remove space on my phone. So I had to finish out the other mirror and I'm picking up where I left off on that one. So now that you've got this mirrored side of the uh, of the window tent really good and wet, you can flat, pick it up, slap it down on the wet glass. Okay. Now, so I'm not losing you. Right now, the tinted side facing up mirror side is down on the glass that's what's going to give you your best result as far as having a flawless mirror when you go to look through it on the other side hopefully hopefully see how this is all going make sure you got your stuff centered get as much of the bumps out of it as you can like these little Ridges here because you're just gonna have to squeegee out what you don't get out. Okay, now wet this side down really good and start squeegeeing. You need to get all the air bubbles and imperfections out of this. Um, I know from doing the first one, like I said, this is the second one that it took me about a half an hour to get it all squeegeed out. So I'm just letting you guys know this is going to take a little bit, so allow yourself some time. Okay, I think I got that centered a lot better than it was. And a few more of these imperfections out of here, just laying it down. All right, well, don't let this dry out. Start squeegeeing. I'm not going to make you watch a half an hour of that. I'll get back with you as soon as I'm done with this. Start pushing these air bubbles and everything towards the side just like this. Get the big ones out of there. Then you're going to have to go back, work all the other little ones out. But, all right, you get the idea. I'm going to get on this. I'll get back as soon as I'm done squeegeeing. All right, everybody, we're back. Been about a half an hour. I got this all smoothed out. 
really really well I mean some of this stuff you really got to work at try and do it in a clean as area as possible because I could see a freaking cat hair that is now between the film and the glass that's going to be there forever and I'm hoping it doesn't show up too awful bad in the finished product but you really really want to get working to get every one of these little bubbles out of here but what I'm going to do right now is trim it up I'll give you this knife just trim it all out right the size take your time because you don't want to run up onto the mirror and leave a big freaking line on the mirror because then that's going to ruin your finished product Just take your time go right up against the mirror all the edge of the glass not rocket science Just like that, go all the way around. All right, I'll get that done. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, there it is. It's all trimmed out, squeegeed out. I'm going to go around this a little more. There's a couple of spots on the edge I want to work on a little better. There is a uh, a plastic film on the top of this. It doesn't matter if I take it off on this one because this one's going to be the one that. The, the back of this is going to go up against the ceiling in the van. Um, the other one downstairs, I do got to peel that off before I put it into the frame. I'm going to come back here in uh, just a little bit uh, for final assembly on this, and you'll see how everything goes together in final, final assembly and how to peel that off, and and, uh, and we'll go from there. We'll get her all together, get her in the van, and hopefully it'll look really cool. All right. I'll catch you when I go to final assembly on this. There. Okay, everybody. Getting the final assembly on this infinity mirror here. Um, Going to take you through the steps I've gone through so far. You saw me make the mirrors. Um, this frame here was made actually all out of uh, one by two. I 45 degree angled the corners, made the bottom frame, this part of it. Then, it's actually made out of three different size pieces of wood. But these three right here, all right, you see them? But they're all made out of the, out of this. This is actually this cut in half. And this stuff is this quartered. So that's how I came up with all the wood and the different sizes. You're going to need different sizes. The way this is going to work, I made the bottom frame, took the second size, this stuff, cobweb, this stuff went all the way around. When I got back to this corner, I left a little gap here because what's going to happen is I'm going to put the first piece of glass down in here, mirror side up. Once I get that done, I'm going to take this stuff and I'm going to put it all the way around and glue it in on top of the mirror. Once that glue's dry, I'm going to take 16 feet of LED lights. I'm going to start here and I'm going to run it around the inside. When I get back to this corner, I'm going to curl it around and go back around on the outside. So not only is this going to be an infinity mirror in the middle, it's going to have indirect lighting on the outside. Now, I'm doing this for my van, but any of you people that are out there, I know I run a motorcycle channel. Um, it's something really cool to do for your kids and put in their room. It's actually something cool to do and put anywhere, you know. It's a, it's a neat idea. But um, anyway, that's how that goes. Once I get that in there and the pieces I'm putting on top of the mirror, I painted black. 
I just hit them with a can of flat black spray paint. I figured it might help with the LEDs. And now, once I get the LEDs in there, and they're all set, and these are two-sided tape on the back of them, so they just adhere in there. Um, then the other piece of glass goes down on top of that shiny side down. You want the two mirrors pointing at each other. And then I'm going to rim that again with this all the way around, glue it down. I'm going to leave the LED pigtail plug hanging off the corner here. Now, this is going to be in the ceiling in the back of uh, the van. And I was worried that when the outside lights were on, the people sitting up towards the front of the van looking back, I didn't want the LEDs to be too harsh and too bright. So I ran a groove all along the front here. And I cut a piece of plexiglass. Now I'm going to frost this really lightly with a little bit of white uh, spray paint. And then this is going to sit right down in this groove in front of those lights. Not to block them out, just to dim them a little bit so they won't be so harsh for people who are looking back that way. Thought it would be a cool way to take care of that. So, that's where we're at. That's how this goes together. Enough of me yammering. Let's get this thing going. Get the first piece of glass here. Hang on. Now, this piece of plexiglass, the cover on it. So, you're going to want to take this, peel it off. It's on there pretty good. Once you get it going, it goes. down with the plexiglass side out. Now this is the tip pointing up. Now once you get this in here, you're going to want to get it and make sure it's where it's supposed to be. And you're going to want to clean it real good. Because I can see fingerprints I got on it right here. And if you don't, trust me, once you get that top piece of glass on there, you're not ever getting in there again to clean it. So you don't want any fingerprints on it. So we're going to clean this up real quick. This is just Windex. Okay. Dry one. Right down in them corners real good. You don't want no smudges, smears, anything else on this. Look at it in the light and an angle. Make sure you got everything off of it. Like I said, it's your only chance right now. Good in 
care of that. Now, like I said, I have four strips already cut, flat blacked, and ready to go around this frame. They're going to go in here just like this. All the way around, I cut them just to fit. I don't want to stick that bit down in there yet because I'm going to have to pry it out, but I'm going to break off camera for a second and mix up a little bit of epoxy, five minute epoxy to stick on the back of these, run it around. You guys don't need to sit there and watch me do that. I'll be back in a minute. All right, everybody. Um, here we go. First mirror's in. As you can see, I got the black all the way around. I use five minute epoxy, so I'm not going to wait till tomorrow. I guess it's in there as good as it's going to be for now. So, we take the second piece. Second piece, same as the first piece. This one has, I'm hoping these scratches aren't something that's through this plastic because my wife's cat's got on the damn thing. But anyway, we'll see. Now, this one, a little bit of a scratch. one and we're going to clean and then we're going to flip over oh hell that's right we're not doing that yet I'm getting ahead of myself we got to get our LEDs in there it's going to do me much good not have the LEDs in there okay now He's got two-sided tape on him. I'm going to leave this pigtail. I'm trying to think how that's going to go. If I start it here, up, around, down, back, all the way back up around, pigtail will still be right there. All right, that works for me. Get this stuff peeled and started. There it goes. Now I double clean this mirror and I guess I'm going to have to do it again because I want to set that there while I'm doing this. But Make sure you leave yourself enough room to get the second. I need a little screwdriver. I gotta get this LEDs kept in out of the way. That stuff likes to stick, which is good. I had to get those LEDs stuck down so the there'd be enough of a gap. I won't go all the way around to get them back out. Anyway, take these. As soon as I get these wrapped all the way around, 
We're going to plug them in and check them out. Just take your time with it. You want to get right into them corners real good. You don't want them curved. You want a nice finished product. It's simple and straightforward. reason now the blue backing stopped coming off wants to take the two-sided tape with it all right hang on let me get a razor so I can fix this all right you guys don't need to see me fumble around with this I'm gonna shut off for a minute get this all the way wrapped around there come back plug it in let you guys see how cool it looks before we stick that second mirror on there Okay, everybody, I got the lights around the inside of this and halfway around the outside. And as you can see, right here, right now, I still got to go from the middle here around to that corner. I've got another set of LEDs upstairs. I'm going to have to cut and splice these, and I'll do that in the morning. But I did want to show you one thing that I had this on here. The mirror's in there. I wrapped all the, the lights around the black pieces that I put in there and now this is what I wanted to show you before I knock off for the evening make sure that your glass is as clean as it can possibly get because you like I said are not going to get a second chance at this if there's any smudges smears whatever on this glass it's going to be there because you are not going to be able to take this apart once it goes together so watch the magic the magic boys and girls I think my camera's freaking out trying to film these LEDs but now you can see how it goes projects down into the end of the picture this isn't even the side we look from this is the side that's going up against the ceiling the other side is going to be the side we're looking from but it'll have the same effect all right I'm knocking off for the night I'm gonna go have me an ice cold beer and uh, like I said, tomorrow I'll get the rest of the lights around this, and then I'm going to take this more of this quarter inch wood, run it around the top of this so everything's secure, and then I'll be able to go out and mount it in the van. And I will show you that when it's all done and in there. And in about a week or so, I'm going to have a video on this whole van project I've been doing, beginning to end. So if you want, you can turn in, you know, tune in and see the uh, the ugly duckling become a swan. Okay, I'm out for the night. Peace. See ya. All right, everybody, here it is, back again. Uh, got the other LED strip spliced onto this. Got it wrapped the rest of the way around the mirror. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it. Right here, there's a little bit of black shrink tube. It's only about an inch wide, but that's okay. It's kind of in the middle of the back of the mirror. That's where the back doors on the van open, so it'll be fine. But here's what it looks like. Can I have indirect lighting all the way around the outside? See how it shines up on the wall? And uh, infinity mirror on the inside. Now, one thing I did decide to do 
was to make a, a backing for it. This is the backing. Just two pieces of poster board I cut to side and, uh, to size and taped in there. Now, this is your antenna. That's why that's up there for the remote control. Now I'm going to take this quarter round stuff. I'm going to border the entire mirror with it like this, glue it in place. Just use that five minute epoxy again. I've already drilled the uh, corner holes for where the screws are going to come up and mount it to the ceiling in the van. So uh, the next time you get a look at this will probably be tomorrow to finish up this video because it's raining outside right now. And I still have to frost that little one inch piece of glass I showed you that's going to go down the front. It's just going to be a little light shield in front of the lights so they're not so intense when you're looking at it from inside the van on the one side but that's where it is that's once it's in the van tomorrow i'll show you it you can see it on the ceiling and uh get an idea of what it's going to look like okay see you then okay everybody there you go backings in I trimmed it all in in this uh, quarter inch. I put two or three across here, two on each end, two long ones down each side. Mirror stuck in. I'm going to let the, uh, the glue dry overnight. I'm going to take some of this white blue tape, and I'm going to go around the edges and seal them up so no dust gets in between the two mirrors. Uh, tomorrow I'll mount this up in the van, and it'll be good to rock and roll. Be all done. I got a couple more strips of LED I'm going to run inside the van, and then I'm going to do the final walk around video on this van project. And you guys can check it all out. All right. See you tomorrow. Okay, everybody. Here it is. Finished product. All the glue is dry. It's the next morning. Hang on a second. A lot of dehumidifier noise in the background. Okay, here it is. It's all done, ready to go. All works on remote control. It's got all different kinds of functions. That's power on. This is your little antenna on here. Let me show you the other side. And get the idea of what it looks like. Now I'm going to put this up in the... Uh, ceiling of my van. I'm going to finish this video and this is going to go up like it is as a how-to on how to make one of these mirrors. You want to see it in the van, go to West Corners Custom Cycles, uh, click down on the playlist for G20 conversion van and you can see the whole van video front to back, everything I did to it and how cool it turned out. All right, as always, be good to each other, be kind, keep the shiny side up, live life behind bars. See you people soon. Okay, boys and girls. There it is. Installed in the van, on the ceiling, above the, the bed. And now I'm going to turn it on and show you what it looks like all lit up. There you go. Pretty cool. And as you can see, I'll go up top here, you can see we have indirect lighting on the outside of it going all the way around. And I'll show you what I did with that little strip in the front where I told you I was putting the plexiglass. Like I said, I took that little one inch piece of plexiglass, stuck it in that groove with some epoxy, and I frosted the one side of it with some spray paint before I did. But that's what that side of it looks like from inside the van. There you go. All right, as always, I know this one didn't have anything to do with motorcycles, but as always, be good, be kind, keep the shiny side up, the rubber side down, and live life behind bars. All right, peace, we'll see ya.